I am so tired. I need a nap. Hot water bottle. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be testing out natural collection makeup. Now I've done a video like this before. I might have even done twice since starting my YouTube channel. But yeah, Natural Collection have like fairly recently, I wanna say in the last like year or so, they've rebranded and they've also brought out a ton of other products. Ugh. No. If you guys don't know about Natural Collection, then maybe you weren't a teenager in the UK in like the early-ish 2000s, because literally everyone that I know used to use some kind of product from Natural Collection. I'm pretty sure it's one of Boots' own brands. Either way, Boots are like the only place that I know of that stock it, and it is super, super cheap. I feel like everything's like under three or four pounds. And I won't lie to you, some of the things, like from what I know, I used to use like the tinted moisturizer foundation-y thing literally when I was like 14 or 15, and it sucked. Like it was bad. Nothing good about that stuff at all. But some things on the other hand were actually pretty good. Like I remember the bronzer to be pretty good and I actually have one of the blushes from their old packaging which I actually featured in my like favorites under five pounds. So yeah, they've made some good products but they've also made some really bad products. But I thought since they have rebranded, brought out a few new products, I would try it out again and give it another shot. So yeah, today we're gonna be doing that. I'm pretty sure I have just about a full face. I might be missing out on like one product or something. But yeah, let's slap it on. I know you guys love the headbands and I might actually, I might actually just put one on for decoration, but I actually curled my hair a little bit today and when I put the headbands on, it ruins that. So I am just gonna put my hair back with clips and then put some ears on anyway, just, just to keep you guys happy. I'm like Josie and the Pussycats. Do you guys remember that? Again, if you were a teenager around at the same time that I was a teenager, you probably will. Let me know what year you were born. Might make me really upset because I bet some of you are gonna be like, I was born in like 2002 and I'm gonna be like, ah, oh. I'm a 1993 girl, 28. They always say you're only as old as you feel. I'm like a mixture between like 14 and 70. Okay, let's get on into this. So I've already gone ahead and primed my skin. It didn't have any kind of primer on the stand that I originally looked at. So I'm just gonna go straight in with foundation. But yeah, this is the Hydrating and Radiance Foundation and I got it in the shade Sand. It's gonna be a little bit too dark, a little bit too yellow for me. So I might have to lighten it up a little bit, but we'll see. Let's try this on the back of my sponge. It's like very liquidy. Oh my God, that's a lot. But after doing that foundation challenge, like, nothing phases me anymore. Let's see. I am so curious about this. So yeah, I've used the tinted moisturizer before, and like I said, it did really, really suck. But I don't know if this is a new product, I don't know if it's just, like, rebranded, or I have no idea, but yeah, I've never actually tried this one. Okay, so, so far, there's not much coverage on this at all, really but it is definitely doing something to me. And it looks okay. I might go in with a tiny bit more just to see if I can add a bit more coverage. But yeah, it's like, it's actually okay. Yeah, this is a lot better than the foundations from them that I've tried so far and like the tinted moisturizers and stuff. Last time I used their base product, I just remember it looking really kind of like streaky. And then when I powdered it down, it got really kind of cakey looking. It's maybe starting to look a little bit funky around here. So I'll try and avoid like the center of my face. Yeah, I feel like we've got a little bit of cakiness forming. So it's either just like that and I didn't apply enough or it kind of gets like that when you apply like layers of it. It's almost like as it starts to dry down, you just want to leave it. You don't want to play with it. You don't want to blend it out anymore. You just need to get it on your face quickly. I've got like a really flaky nose because I had a bit of a cold recently. Like I was fine. It wasn't anything to worry about, but I had a bit of a cold and I was like sniffling my nose and stuff. And it's just, my nose looks scabby. Okay. I'm not expecting big things from this. However, it looks better right now than I thought it was going to. So let's now try out some concealer. So this is just called the liquid concealer and I have it in the shade Fair. Let's load that up because I need it. Literally after this video, I'm taking a few days off filming. I've still like, I've got like loads of backlogs of videos and stuff. Um, but I'm gonna take a few days off filming and I'm gonna chill. I'll probably help Ollie with a little bit of editing, but otherwise like I'm just gonna nap and do some jigsaws. That's all I wanna do. Oh, there it is. There's the creasing. Right, let's have a zoom in. If I like lift up, I need to try and figure out how to like lift up my lashes almost, but can you guys see that? Right up in there, you might have to get quite close. Yeah, looking a little bit patchy. So let's add some more. I might actually use my finger to blend it out. Maybe, or maybe it'll look terrible. Yep, looks terrible when you blend it out with your finger. Oh God, what is this? Oh no, 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 no. Oh God, that's, that's, what, uh, that's awful. I don't know how I can save that more, question mark, but I won't blend it in with my fingers and maybe I'll like 
blend it out onto my face a bit more. I don't know. This is the kind of thing that I vaguely remember having a problem with last time. It was like anything that I put on the foundation was just picking it up because once it's on, it's like, you better not touch your face. Otherwise it will just look like a crusty mess. Yeah, right, right in there, any texture, unless you're literally a baby and you have no wrinkles on your face at all. No, don't use this. Oh my God. You see that there? It's giving me like a little shadow. That's not just my face, that is, that's like patchiness. Woo, okay. I swear it's barely concealed anything. The tiniest bit. Let's go over some spots. Maybe it will cover them up better, but realistically, probably not. I'm gonna tap so lightly to try and make sure I don't pick up any of the foundation. I feel like I kind of got away with that. Just, I don't know what to do with this. I feel like I need to save it, but I don't know how. <gasps> That's one of the worst foundation and concealer combos I have ever tried. Worse than Poundland. That's awful. <laughs> Ooh, off to a great start. Okay, let's try this eyeball and let's see if this miraculously looks any better. I'm gonna try the softer side of the sponge and just, just try and quickly blend it out. Quick, 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 quick. Don't know why I have to sing a theme song while I do it. Honestly, honestly, if you have, if you move your face, if you've ever blinked, if you've ever smiled, you should not use this because it will show up everything. This sucks. Don't you dare buy it. If you buy this, if I see anyone buying this, if I see anyone in boots at any point buying this, I'm going to snatch it out of your hand, throw it on the floor because this is the worst concealer I've ever tried potentially. It's like, I don't even want to conceal any more of my face, but I kind of, like, I need to do that bit of my nose because it's really not good. But, uh, uh, uh. Let's, uh, let's now powder it down and make it look even more cakey. So this is just called the translucent powder. I do want to say though, because I know like, I hate having to like justify myself on the internet, but I feel like, especially at the moment with lockdown, everyone kind of like, does have to. I see it with all of my friends that are like on the internet. If you guys like these products, I'm I'm stoked for you because they're affordable. I wish I liked them. I love cheap stuff, but yeah, for me personally, and I like a lot of foundations. This is the literally like the worst foundation I think I've ever tried. All right, I'm gonna set my under eyes down because obviously I don't want those to go anywhere because they look so flawless. Oh my God, are you serious? Wait. It's like oxidized it, made it really, really matte, made it a lot more noticeable how awful it is. Sick. I know that this foundation says that it's hydrating and radiant, but honestly, just looking at myself, I'm just like crust. Like I am a French loaf, a French breadstick. Oui, oui, bonjour, de fromage. I just look like the crustiest little bread roll you ever did see. Go on, Ollie, make me a bread roll. Actually, put one on my hand right now. Twins. I maybe just kind of think it's mostly down to the concealer. Like if you use this, I'd probably actually even say to conceal first because it's like once you try and put anything else on this because it dries so quickly and because it doesn't like, I, I don't know, the, I don't know the technicality behind it, but because it doesn't like stick to your face properly, if you put anything on top that's not powder, it just picks it all up. But like, I kind of think this isn't as bad as the concealer just because of like these parts of my face where I didn't put the concealer seem to be okay. I don't think it looks good, but it's it could be worse. But yeah, this and this paired with this are just a no-go. How is it that I put on that much makeup and I look worse? So now I have two bronzers to try from them. So I have this one here, which I believe is a matte or at least fairly matte and it's called Sunshine. And then I have this one, which is a bit more shimmery called Golden Glow. So yeah, I have tried out their bronzers before. Like I said, it was in the old packaging. I don't know if they've changed the formula or not, but it was always decent. Like it was always good. It wasn't the most pigmented, but again, like that doesn't bother me, but like I actually quite like the bronzer. So I'm curious about this. So let's try the matte one first. So this one is sunshine and I'll just try and do a little bit of contouring slash bronzing. Let me swatch it first. Okay, so it's quite, I mean, you can barely even see that there. It's quite um, sheer. Let's go in there. Yeah, it's quite sheer, but honestly, when it comes to contours and stuff, I do kind of prefer that just so I don't put like a huge stripe down my face. These poor powders do not stand a chance with how gnarly my base is looking. This seems okay though. It actually seems to be going onto the base like fairly nicely. I'm just patting it in and then kind of blending afterwards. Jawline. That seems all right. Like I said, it's not really got much to go by with this base on, but it seems to be, 
it actually has gone on okay. Not too much, not patchy, not bad. So yeah, the bronzers, I don't know what that was. The bronzer is pretty decent. Let's now try out this one, which I don't think I have tried out before. So this one is Golden Glow. And yeah, it is a little bit more shimmery. This one seems more pigmented as well. Oh yeah, that's a lot. It's quite chalky and powdery, but whatever. Nice. I'll add a bit of color on my face with that. I feel like this is gonna be more pigmented. A bit of color up here. Yeah, this one is more pigmented. I don't know why. Maybe because it has shimmer in it or whatever, but you can maybe see. Just from tapping my brush in there a few times, it does kind of go everywhere a little bit. Um, Not the worst. I think this is a bit red though. And it's like, it's not quite right. Something about it's just not quite right. So I do prefer the matte one. This could be okay, but on me, um, I mean, it's not that it's awful or anything. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I do just look a little bit ready. It's like, there's a lot of color here. So I'm gonna add some more color in this blush here. This one is in the shade Peach Melba. So I'm pretty sure this is the same blush that I have that I've been like using for quite a few years. So it's pigmented enough. You can see like it does pick it up on the brush. Should we tap a little bit there? I honestly really, really like this blusher. Not with this makeup. And I, I feel like I'm literally looking like a clown at this point. I was actually planning on, you know, like going to Tesco, doing a little food shop. But I think the base makeup's gonna have to come off pretty quick because right now it's a no-go. But yeah, I can vouch for this in a sense that it is actually a pretty good blusher. Like I said, it was in one of my favorites videos, but not with whatever's going on right now. But normally I do really rate this. So then they didn't have any highlights or anything like that. So I went ahead and picked up one of their eyeshadows. So this is called White Opal and I'll swatch it for you. It just looks like this. So it's quite chalky. It does have a slight little sheen there, kind of. I'm actually gonna take a smaller highlighter brush than normal. Kind of concentrate it a bit on my cheeks. Oh. I feel like that could work okay-ish if you want a tiny little bit of shimmer. However, it does just kind of look like I've got an eyeshadow on my cheek, which in, in fairness, I do. Like this isn't necessarily meant for your face, but I mean, I don't even know at this point. It's like, I knew a lot of these products, like a lot of the base products mostly, weren't good, just from my own previous experiences. But I don't know, because it was repackaged, I kind of had high hopes for it thinking, oh, maybe I can actually do something that's pretty cool. Because I've done Poundland videos before and I've made like a pretty decent look out of it, if I do say so myself. This, however, I'm just looking at it like, you just look crusty. I mean, that's, that's really not doing much for me, is it? What if I do, Milk mustache. It just looks, no. Okay, let's now move on to brows. So for my brows, I have a clear mascara, which was like my OG, like original brow gel that I used to use. I didn't use brow gel until maybe like a year or two into actually doing my YouTube channel. It was always clear mascara for me, baby. And it would get to the point where I'd used it so much that this clear liquid would just be like brown. So yeah, I'm just gonna fluff my brows up a touch and no, that brow hair from before when I did the brow extension still hasn't grown back. It's fine, it's okay. That's what I get karma for like being sarcastic and essentially clapping back at the haters, as they say. From doing that, I've actually in turn lost a bit of my eyebrow. They said that my eyebrows were too big and so they won. Karma hit me and I have less brow hair than I'm used to. Okay. Brow gel on, and now I'm gonna go in with this pencil here. So this is just called the brow pencil and I got it in dark brown. So we have a spoolie on one side and then just a standard pencil on this side. So the actual color looks all right, it's fairly neutral. Do a couple of little strokes in there. I feel like a lot of these products are just still stuck in like the era of when I was like 14 and using them, because yeah, back then, we didn't have much good makeup that was affordable. But now there are so many other brands that still bring out really affordable products, but they're just not as kind of dated. Like I don't know too many brands now that actually have plain pencils like this. They're always little micro pencils or like those slanted kind of ones. I feel like they maybe should have done that as opposed to rebranding and maybe just brought out a few more products that are just a bit more kind of with the times. I don't know. 
it's it's just a brow pencil that you fill and stuff in. I feel like I'm so negative in this video, but I can't help it because honestly, like, there's not much good going on right now. Um, so yeah, I think if you're gonna go for a pencil like this, you can actually get cheaper. Like Poundland do a pencil like this, it's better. Poundland also do like a little brow palette, I think. I think if you're just running this through your brows and just kind of want to like fill in a few little gaps without doing hair like strokes, then yeah, it's fine. But I probably won't be using this again. I'm sorry, Natural Collection, I'm just hating on you today. Let's now go in with a tinted brow gel. So this one again is just in the shade dark brown. I vaguely remember quite liking this to be fair. So I'm just gonna go through my brows with that a little bit, just to tint them a touch. This is perfectly fine and you don't really need much else if you do just wanna tint them, you don't wanna add fibers or anything. The brush is a little bit too big. So even for my fat ass brows, I would like something a little bit smaller just so it's not as messy, but the actual product seems to be fine. So look, that's okay. So far, the good things are the blusher, the matte bronzer, and this one. Like, we have some positives. Let's now do a little something on my eyes. So again, I have a few of the eyeshadow singles. So I have this one in the shade Crushed Walnut, which is just like a dark kind of cool tone brown. I also have Fine Silver, which as you can imagine, it's just a silvery gray shade. I'll then put the white opal one on my inner corner of my brow bone. And then realistically, I'll use the matte bronzer shade just like in my crease a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the bronzer. So this is just the matte one, just to act as my transition shade. And see that, I think that actually works pretty well as an eyeshadow as well. I'm now gonna go in with the shade Crushed Walnut. So again, this is just like the cool tone brown. So I'm gonna take a fair bit of that on my brush. I'm just using a Luxe All Over Shader brush from Zoeva. And I'll put that on my outer corner and bring it in a bit like so. See, that looks pretty pigmented. I'll go back in with my fluffy brush again, just to blend it out. It is catching in my crease a bit though, like right here. I really like the color though. Again, I don't really feel like I've given it much of a shot with the concealer as kind of like an eye base, but it's, it's not all bad. Run some on my lower lash line as well. I think that looks okay. I'm just basically at this point trying to cover up all of that crustiness from the concealer. It's not working, but if I can like detract from it a little bit, I've got something on my eye, then cool. So I'm now gonna take this silver shade. I might need to go in with some setting spray, but we'll see. Then I'll just pop that on my inner corner a little bit. That looks like it's doing all right. It's there, this is, this is great. That's actually not half bad. These eyeshadows are doing okay. Chuck a bit of setting spray on there. Oh my God, why am I so clumsy? Chuck a little bit of this on there. A little bit of setting spray. See what you got. Okay, that looks better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way more foiled. Lovely. I actually think these eyeshadows are all right. They're not, like, they're not the nicest. I won't lie to you, but this is absolutely fine. I don't have an issue with it at all. I feel like they just look a little bit drier on my lid than I would like, but that's fine. But yeah, I don't feel like that's too bad, apart from the fact that it has caught onto this little bit of my crease there. I think generally speaking, it's okay. So now I'm gonna take a bit more of that setting spray and pop that on my inner corner, the opaly shade. Oh God, that's gone very weird on my inner corner. What the heck? Can I salvage it? I'm just adding loads in there now, just cause it was like, it was doing something kind of weird. It's that concealer, nemesis, arch nemesis. Okay, before I go into the other eye, I'm just gonna add some mascara. So this here is called the Volume Mascara. And again, I used to use these all of the time. Um, this one here just has a fairly standard wand. So let's have a look. See what you can do, old friend. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video of like how I used to do my makeup. I can do how I used to do my makeup when I started YouTube and or I can do how I used to do my makeup when I was like this little 14 year old emo kid. Let me know which one you prefer. I can do both, but which one would you like first? So I'm just like digging into the base of my lashes. I'm honestly not hating this. I wanna go in with another layer in a second because I feel like I can make it look a little bit more chunky, which is what I think this look kind of needs. But this really ain't bad. It's actually giving me quite a good curl on my lashes. I'm quite proud of that mascara actually. I don't think it looks that bad at all. It takes a little bit of building up, but otherwise it's it's done a pretty good job. I've definitely had worse mascaras. I kind of like that. So while I have you, my friends, I'm just gonna go in and do my lips. So I have this lip liner, which is in the shade Espresso. And then I have one of their, it says two in one lipstick liner in the shade Barely There. Now this, I've never gotten on with using these as liners cause they are just too thick for me. So I thought I would just do like a little bit of an ombre lip. So I'm gonna go in with the liner and just try this out. It's a bit more warm than my usual kind of nude shade, but I'm not mad at that. It's going on okay. So that's what the lip liner looks like on its own. And I mean, like I said, it's not my usual color. It's very like a kind of terracotta-ish sort of brick 
kind of nudie colour. But the actual product itself and how it's applied and everything was all good. No issues. So then yeah, I'll go in with this pencil thing here. This is a lot more kind of red toned actually. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I definitely think I prefer this colour over like the orangey one. It's a lot more kind of like a pinkyish nude. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I hate it, but I'm gonna see just how this works on my little lippies. A little bit of that. And let's see if you can at least do one job correctly. It's just such a sheer concealer and it doesn't, it just doesn't give you any coverage. Like it's not even lightening up my lips. I'm adding a ton right now. It's like, where did it go? It just disappeared. That was a lot of concealer on my lips then and you can see it's done something, but this sucks. This sucks, man. I'm sorry. This is like one of the worst concealers I've ever tried in my life. Ever, ever, ever. You suck. <laughs> Flew straight off my table, but it's okay. I don't like it anyway. All right, gonna go off camera and do the other eye. I don't know why I'm pointing over there because literally over there, there's just a wall. Um, but I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, and then I'll check back with you guys and show you the final look. Okay, so this is the finished look and overall, I actually don't mind it. However, you all know what I'm gonna say. The concealer and the foundation, they just screwed everything up for me. Like I was planning on filming another video with this makeup on and I I just don't want to because of just how bad like just my under eyes and everything look. It looks so patchy. It's not all bad though. Like I'm actually pretty happy with how the eyes turned out. The eyebrows are all right. The lipsticks are okay. So let's talk about a few products that I'm like pretty into. The brow gel, that's pretty good. The clear mascara as well. Like it doesn't do anything crazy to your brows, but it does enough. The blushes and bronzers, like I said, I have tried them out before and I've always thought they were pretty decent, so they're all right. I quite like the eyeshadows as well. I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're amazing, but if you're looking for like a certain color, like you don't need to buy a full palette if you just want like a silver eyeshadow. This isn't the best one, but I mean, it's pigmented enough, you can see it. You might have to like wet in your brush or something before you use it to get a bit more pigmentation out of it. But this color especially, the walnut one, I feel like it's actually pretty decent. I do obviously want to try it out with like a better eye primer or eye base. But I mean, even with a not so great one, sorry, I've got a little bit of mascara on my lid there. Even with a not so great one, I still feel like it looks okay. The lip products aren't my color, but they're absolutely fine to use. There is no issue with those whatsoever. And the mascara, I actually, really do kind of think this mascara is pretty decent. It does take a little bit to kind of build up, so you might need to spend an extra like 30 seconds to a minute actually putting on your mascara, but it's really cheap. And yeah, I just feel like it's done a pretty good job. My lashes are curled, they're lifted, they're black. I wouldn't say there's much extra length to them, but I mean, this one's a volumizing one. And yeah, I actually think this is pretty good. And then my fails were of course the foundation, the concealer. I don't think I'm into the powder. I wasn't really into this eyeshadow either. It just, it was like sheer, but not, but kind of sheer. And then the shimmery bronzer wasn't really my thing. And the brow pencil, like, you can get better than this for cheaper for the same price. So I'd probably give that one a miss as well. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look. Let me know what you think of it. Like besides this part of my face, like my under eyes here, what do you guys think? Cause I actually feel like the eyeshadow's all right. The lipstick's okay. In a minute, like I said, I'm gonna film another video. So I will just like take off my base makeup and just leave my brows and eyeshadow on and stuff. And I feel like it'll look all right. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried out anything from Natural Collection. Let me know if there's anything that I missed out that you maybe want me to try out in like a future first impressions or something. Let me know if you used to use any of these products when you were like the same kind of age as me, like 14, 15. Did you used to use like the tinted moisturizer and the clear brow gel and stuff? I wanna know. I wanna reminisce a little bit with you guys about simpler times when all our worries were how crap the natural collection tinted moisturizer was. If only that was our biggest problem these days. Memories. Let me just hunt for a quick little question of the day. So I just went on my most recent comments and Molly Parr said, Steph's question of the day, how's Michael and Pepe doing? Can you please give them a shout out in your next video? Also, how are your fugglers? They're so cute. Okay, Michael and Pepe are doing very well. Um, they are like best friends. However, the other night, Pepe was like screaming at some of these screams, like after he eats, he just likes to like, just scream the house down for a minute. And then a few seconds later, they were like fighting, like wild cat fighting. You know when you hear like neighbors cats fighting, going like Meh. That was what they were doing. They never fight. I came downstairs and Pepe was attacking Michael. Pepe's like normally the way more chill one. Like if they ever do any kind of fighting, it's usually Michael that starts it. Sorry, Michael, but it's true. I don't know where he is, but he's probably listening. But yeah, they had a fight and I went to like grab Pepe and I was like, leave him alone, like shouting at him basically to leave Michael alone. And he was like going for him. He was like out for blood. They're good friends again now and they're doing absolutely fine. But I was like, 
I've never seen this side of Pebo before. He's on a diet at the moment because he, he is very, very fat and we are slowly getting him thinner and just, it's taken a while, but we're getting there. But yeah, I think he's just hangry at the moment. He wasn't happy. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely fine. They are in love with us since lockdown, basically. Like they're always very, very close to us and they like doted on us and stuff. But yeah, lockdown has made them very, very needy. Even if we just go out to the shop or whatever, even if we just like have a little line, they just scream and they need our attention. And the Fugglers, the collection is growing nicely. I think I have 12 now. 12 or 13, something like that. And then you guys may have seen on my stories, I, I'm I'm sorry, I, I'm crazy, I know I am. I bought a box of 20 of them, like little keychains. They're not little, the keychains are literally like this big. Wait, I have one. Yeah, the keychains look like this. This one was from Jade, who does my press on. She sent it to me for my birthday. <laughs> I love them. I, I sometimes, sometimes I wanna cry because I love them so much and here I am welling up again just because of his stupid little face. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually tearing up a bit. Am I okay? But yeah, I bought a box, 20 of these. They were like on sale for around about 30 pounds for 20 of them when normally they're like, I think like seven pounds or something. And yeah, I bought 20 because I love them, number one. But also number two, you guys know, like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know about my ugly Christmas tree. And for years, it's been a small one. This year, I'm making it a big one, like next Christmas, and I'm gonna fill it with these guys and use them as decorations. Again, I'm, I'm 28 years old. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so yeah, fugglers are great, cats are great. I hope you're good too. Thanks for the question. If you guys have any other questions you want to ask me, link them down below. Link them down below, comment them down below. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.